This basic lesson on how to read the architect scale ruler is going to be part of your lesson after you have already previewed the introduction to architectural drafting for beginner interior designers. That is a Google slide presentation and then you will have a handout in my class that looks something like this that you'll need to have completed before doing this part of the project. So um, basically what I want to do right now is just tell you how to use the ruler. First of all, yours and class are going to be white, um, but this was a little bit easier to see the numbers when I zoom in using the black one. Um, but you want to look at your architect scale at all the different sides so that you can observe all the different things that you can measure using your architect scale. Basically, if you look at the end, it's going to tell, tell you the size of scale that you're going to be looking at. This is a quarter scale, which would mean that a quarter of an inch, that's the space from each of these larger lines, a quarter of an inch equals one foot. Or if you slide the scale down to the other end, this is a one eighth scale. It's a much smaller scale. So it would mean that every one eighth of an inch space, that's the smaller space here, one eighth of an inch equals one foot. We also have a half scale, which would mean that half inch space would be equal to one foot. Then we have a one inch scale where one inch equals one foot. And so that's just on this one side. And typically in our class, this would be the only side that we're really gonna need to use. But if you flip it over, there's other sides. This, just, this one has actually a standard ruler on this side. And then it has a 1 16th scale. It has a one over 32 scale. Um, then we have a one and a fourth scale, a three inch scale, and a three, I can't even see that, three eighths, okay? But for our class, we're really just gonna be focusing on this one side. So I'm gonna be sticking to the red side on my ruler. All right, and getting started with our activity today, I just wanna show you how to actually read this ruler. First, the probably most important thing to know is that when I'm looking at a quarter scale, I have a different set of numbers to look at than if I'm starting down here on the 1 8th scale. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right over here, we have our quarter scale. And on the quarter scale, we've got the number zero that is near the quarter inch. There's another zero way down on the other end, but the zero that's right here is called the zero point for this quarter scale. So what I have with the zero point is that's where the actual start of my measuring takes place. So instead of like the end of a ruler like you might use on a regular 12 inch ruler, you will start at the zero point. Then what I also have is the actual numbers that are identified. So I have my zero point, I have a two, a four, a six. Those are all measured in feet. So that would be two feet, this would be four feet, six feet, and eight feet. Between that, I have these darker lines that are called the understood numbers. They're not labeled, but they are understood to be a number. So the space, so I've got my zero point, then this little area right here is gonna be one foot, three feet, five feet, seven feet. So they're not labeled, but you can just tell by the number it's between the two and the zero, that's one foot. So you have your understood numbers. Another understood could be this halfway point. Now there is a number there, but I ignore it. This one says 92. That 92 is if I started out on the 1 8th scale, I'm working this direction across, and that would be 92 feet measured from the 1 8th scale's zero point. So what I can do with this little line though is know that that is six inches or half of a foot, okay? So I've got my zero point, half a foot, 
one foot, one and a half, two feet, two and a half, three feet, three and a half, four, and so on. Now what I have here, this is really critical, is this area before the zero. These are my inches. So when I'm looking at a quarter scale, each one of these lines represents one inch. Since I know that there are 12 inches in one foot, and I know that a quarter of an inch, which is this space right here, a quarter inch equals one foot, I know that there are going to be 12 little lines. So if I count these up, there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 inches in that one foot. And that'll become really important for us later when we are doing our measurements. All right, what I have done is I just turned my ruler around so that the quarter scale is gonna be laying flat against the paper. And we're just gonna do some practice measurements. So on a handout in class, you will actually be measuring these on um, paper. It's gonna look something like this. It's kind of zoomed in there, but you get the idea. So, but I'm just gonna show you on graph paper to get started. So the first one is just 20 feet, zero inches. What I would do for that is I'm going to mark my zero point because there's no inches. And then I'm going to come out here to my 20. So that is my zero point and my 20 have been marked. And you're probably gonna want to use the edge of the architect scale to draw your line in, but I'm gonna ask you not to do that. It's what you're gonna want to do, but I'm gonna ask that you not do that. So I've drawn in my zero point and my 20 foot mark, and then you're gonna, in class, just take a ruler. So I've got another ruler here, and I'm just going to then connect those two points, okay? So now I have a 20 foot, zero inch line. Now, another measurement is 15 feet, six inches. So I'm gonna lay this down again. Again, I'm laying it just so you can see it where the quarter inch or quarter scale is laying down touching the graph paper. So the example on the handout is 15 feet, six inches. So this time, in start, instead of starting my line at the zero point, I'm going to look at the zero point, and I'm going to find the six inch mark, which is halfway, okay, because this is 15 feet six inches. So right here is my beginning point. I'm actually starting with the six inches, and I'm going to go down. Here's 14 and then 15. So my marks are going at the 15 inch or the 15 feet mark and at the six inch mark. So once again, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to just draw a straight line connecting those two points. Okay, I actually went over a little bit. All right, so then I will label it. That one is 15 feet, six inches. So you would just repeat that process Anytime you're using the quarter scale, one quarter inch equals one foot. Um, if that's not making any sense to you, just picture it like this. We've got this quarter inch graph paper and every one of these squares is going to equal one foot, okay? So uh, one thing that you could do when working on graph paper is if you have a certain measurement, you could always double check your work by counting squares when you're using quarter inch graph paper and a quarter scale, okay? The other thing it tells me when I'm looking at the graph paper is if I have six inches, that six inches is half of a foot and then that would be half of a square, okay? All right, so what if we're not looking at a quarter scale? What if we are looking at a half scale? Well, it's exactly the same way as far as how you read the ruler. So now this time I have my half scale laid down on the graph paper, okay? You still have the zero point. This time I need to look at the numbers that are in line with the zero that's close to this one half marking. So in this case, I'm going to ignore this 10 
and I'm paying attention to these small numbers, the two, four, six, and once again, I have understood numbers. So even though this number is lab or this line is labeled as a 10, on the half scale, I'm looking things even with the zero point. Well, that's above the zero point, so that's, that's gonna go with the one foot scale, or one inch scale, sorry. So this is going to be zero point, one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet. Now this one does not mark the halfway center. So if I'm doing six inches, we're always gonna look at the area at the point before the zero. So the point before the zero on this one does show us half inch mark. So I've got zero, half inch, one, one half two, one half three, one half four, one half five, one half six, one half seven, one half eight, one half nine, one half 10, one half 11, one half 12. Okay, so there's still, um, you're still able to find all those 12 inches within the foot, but it also gives you the half inch spaces. All right, so another example here would be four feet. So for four feet, using a half scale, I'm gonna mark my zero point, and then I'm gonna mark at the four feet mark. So I've got those two spots. I'm gonna remove the scale. I'm gonna go over here with my ruler and just connect those two dots. And then I will label it as four feet, zero inches, okay? And so, but I do need to indicate that this is at, at one half inch scale, okay? So we're gonna practice this in class and you will wanna make sure that you have your form checked by me before we move on to the project because it's really important that you understand how to use the scale before starting it on the actual project that we do in class. If you don't know how to use the ruler and you can continue and go on to the projects, then the measurements of your entire floor plan could be off. So we wanna make sure that you understand the concept before starting on the project.